Hello and welcome to the ophthalmology department. My name is Dr. Jessica Meekins. I'm an associate professor here at K-State with over 10 years experience in ophthalmology and I joined the faculty here at, in 2012. I'm Jennifer Klingley. I'm the nurse with the ophthalmology department and I've been with them since 2016. I'm Lindsay Gordon. I'm one of the nurse interns here at KSU, and I've been here since January. And hi, I'm Dr. Amy Rankin. I have over 20 years of experience in doing veterinary ophthalmology, and I've been here at K-State since 2007. So we're going to just sort of do um, an exam on this little Boston Terrier today. Dr. Meekins is going to do the exam. Normally when you come to K-State and if you're a fourth year student, when you rotate through clinics, you'll spend two weeks in the ophthalmology department. And we try to include students in sort of every step of the exam. So students normally go up front and get the owner, bring them back to the exam room, get a history. They actually do their full complete ophthalm exam by themselves, usually with the help of our technician, Jen. Then they come out and they present, either to Dr. Meekins or myself, or to one of our three house officers. So those are either an intern or a resident in training, people that are getting specialized training in ophthalmology. Um, and then we come in and do an exam together. And I think that's one of the, the benefits of coming to K-State is that there's a lot of hands-on experience, um, especially during the fourth year, but we try to get people included, even as first years, they're always welcome to come down to clinics and, and help us see cases. So we average usually about 1,500 cases a year on our service, give or take a little bit, and that includes looking at dogs and cats, um, but we also see all, of, all other types of animals as well. We see horses, cattle, um, we've got an alpaca on the schedule for next week, um, and then we also have a, a really um, heavy caseload of exotics. Um, the exotic service is very busy and they also keep us fairly busy as well. Um, looking at not only their animals that are abnormal, but also their normal things so that our students get a lot of experience in looking at exotic animals. So right now Dr. Meekins is using a, a slit lamp um, to evaluate the, the front portion of the eye. So it magnifies things, but it's also got a powerful light source attached to it. We've got three exam rooms that are dedicated to ophthalmology and all three exam rooms are um, fully equipped with kind of state-of-the-art um, equipment. So we've got things to evaluate the front portion of the eye, all of our um, headsets that we use to look at the back of the eye, so if we examine the retina and the optic nerve, have little teaching mirrors attached to them so the students can line themselves up on either side of Dr. Meekins um, and be able to see what she's seeing in real time as she's taking a look at it so she can explain what's normal or what's abnormal. Um, in addition to doing their own exam, they get the, the sort of added experience of looking at it through her eyes at the same time. Here at K-State, we do approximately three to six surgeries per week, and the type of surgery varies uh, based on our caseload. Generally, we have one, sometimes two cataract surgeries per week, which is one of the most common elective procedures that we do. Uh, this operating microscope is really integral to our ability to remove cataracts safely, uh, and dogs are the most common species that we do cataract surgery on, although the scope is on wheels and it can be moved to the large animal hospital for equine cataract surgery, which we have done um, as well. This is the cataract surgery uh, extraction unit that we use as well. Uh, and so combined, these are two of the most important pieces of equipment and instrumentation that we have mm -hmm. uh, here at K-State. Um, students are really involved in helping to co-manage our surgical patients. Um, they help with morning and evening treatments, they help to devise a diagnostic and treatment plan, and then they help carry uh, the case through to the point of discharge, uh, hopefully with a great outcome, which is really exciting when we restore vision in our cataract patients. So one of the reasons why Dr. Meekins and I are at K-State and we've been here for so long, Dr. Meekins, after she finished her residency, started here on the faculty and stayed, um, and I've been here for over 13 years, is that we both really have a, a passion for teaching. So we have a passion for teaching students, you know, first, second, third, and of course during people during their fourth year, during their clinical year. And we also have a passion for teaching interns and house officers. One of the things that really kept us from going into private practice um, was our drive to have sort of an influence on a wider audience so we can train students who hopefully then can go into practice and also train and um, encourage the people that they work with how to practice ophthalmology. We also always welcome phone calls from former graduates or from graduates from other schools as well. We don't exclude them either, but we welcome phone calls from 
people from all over the state, all over the country. We even have former grads that are living in other parts of the world that also will call us for help or advice on cases. We're always happy to do that. Um, and we want to be able to help people not only manage their cases, hopefully to the best way that they can, but also to help them along in their career and give them encouragement and advice whenever we can.